Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. This is going to be a very quick video. A lot of people have been asking me about the pollen feeders and what they can use. And here, here's what, if you don't have any way of feeding the Ultra Bee to, the, the best thing you can do is either find you an old hive like this right here. And this is all, this is all I did. You get an old box and put the pollen inside of a container inside. We've got one of our uh, Barnyard Bee hive top feeders in there right now. and uh, Or a pan. You can go to the dollar store and get you a, a pan. Uh, now, now, here's something that I recommend. If you get one of these, get you a beetle barn and stick in there behind it. Because I'm going to show you something here. If you look there in the back you'll see hive beetles and so it's a good way of also making a, a multi-purpose box here a feeder plus you're attracting in hive beetles you can kill them in the act put you something back here some kind of trap to kill them and get rid of them before they get in your hives that's a good way of attracting them from your hives uh, now as, as they come out the chickens will get them if they come out the front uh, this works very good the, the thing you need to do to get started is put you a drop of lemongrass one on the entrance and one in the feed and stir it up just to begin with once they start going to it then you won't need it anymore because once they found it that's all you'll need so that's about it for the feeder goes and now you can use an old box of any kind you don't have to be an old hive make you an old old box out of wood it, and make you an entrance in the front of it where the bees can go in and out it's as simple as that and oh i want to show you why i got you while we're making a little short video clip here's here's my little goose that follows me around look what i went and got for her this morning at the flea market two more geese and she does not like them and now she's even 10 times as worse about following me around Cause she's scared of them and as soon as i walk around the corner she'll start crying immediately she's scared of them and i guess she looks at me for protection so <laughs> but anyway back to the feeder i showed you the geese i had to show you that this feeder up here is is packed pretty full so that's the reason there's not a whole lot behind me in this box so that's the reason and today now if you remember while we're on the subject here let's let's show you the traffic situation up here can it's been sunny now for two days okay that means the goldenrod out there has a lot of pollen out there right okay the bees aren't nearly as thick on the feeder as they was there's still a few and they're taking it because it's still morning so maybe it's still a little bit damp but by the end of the day this feeder won't have near as much traffic because they'll be getting the goldenrod out there so that's that's the reason that i push the open feeding for pollen is because there's not every day that they can use it so so that that means a lot now uh another thing i want to talk about a little bit i'm gonna start putting together some videos and uh it'll be it'll be for the new beekeepers and advanced beekeepers anyone wants to participate <clears throat> i'm gonna make make certain situations up or go through the hive and and look and show you the frames and show you what we got and ask you what's what the problem is here and then i'm just gonna i'm not gonna tell you what the answer is for about a week and then what i'll do i'll tag the answer i'll, I'll comment and then i'll put that in the tag where people can go and look and see whether it matches their answer or not so i'm gonna start doing that just kind of like quizzing the 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 subscribers and and see if we can get the participation and people coming in and comment and say oh i know what the solution is it's this and then comment and then i'll go down through those comments and look and then i'll put my comment up on the top and tag it where you can see it i thought that'd be really interesting it'll kind of it'll make people stop and think and study and maybe even go look up the situations whatever the situation may be pertaining to the bees and i'm gonna start putting videos like that not uh, a lot but every now and then i'll throw i'm gonna throw up a video like that maybe as it pertains to the seasons changing from from winter to 
spring, summer, fall, etc. stuff like that. So that's something new we're going to try for 2019. Maybe, maybe even do that. I'll probably do it here in the next couple of weeks. Put one out. Go through a hive that's, that, that's not doing good or not doing right, but may appear to be. And then ask you the situation, okay, what, what's wrong here? And uh, I think it'll be something interesting, something everybody can participate in. So that's about it for today. I just wanted to show you a couple of things. I wanted to show you that little homemade pollen feeder. Uh, also, uh, check out uh, Joe. Joe May's got a video where he made some out PVC piping. Works excellent. Works very good. This works good. So whichever you prefer, there's ways of feeding them without buying the big feeder. Now, if you, if you have tons of bees, a lot, a lot of bees, this right here, bar none, is the best feeder you can get. It is expensive. It's about $100. A little over 100, 100, maybe 119, I think. But the thing that lasts for years, it never gets a drop of water in. In the hardest rains and the wind blowing, it's never, never got wet. That pollen's never got wet in there. As long as you, of course, keep it up off the ground. So I just use an old high body and set it up on, on it. Once a week when I mow, you can see all the bare spots. Once a week, I'll move it around. So. It works good, but if you just got a few bees and you don't want to invest that much, right there, just that little box will work. It'll work fine. That's about it. It's just something I come up with this morning. I thought it would be good to share with everyone. And and don't forget, please click on the little bell. You'll be notified of new videos. Don't forget to su subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And thanks for watching. Barnyard Bees.